Um, it is a good weekend, though, to get out there. Well, I don't know. You said maybe there might be a little rain here and there, right? So the only potential for rain we have is Saturday morning. Right. And it's while most of us are waking up, and then we make way for a gorgeous Saturday. So we do have a few good conditions, cooler temperatures that are on the way, though. And then we're going to be seeing that big cool down coming into next week. So those main rain chances, Saturday morning, a few sprinkles are possible. If you are planning to head north, though, areas in northern New England are going to be getting in on most of that rain uh, for Saturday morning. So temperatures at 71 for highs today in Boston, Norwood 78, 74 for Bedford. Going through the rest of our evening, we are going to see those temperatures in the low 60s and upper 50s. Definitely grab the sweater. If you are planning to spend any time outside for this evening, we're going to have 61 by about midnight, and then we're watching temperatures fall to the low 50s overnight tonight. So why should we be outside at 3 o'clock in the morning? Well, one good reason could be to see the northern lights because we are going to have some activity these coming days. Now, tonight, we will have some clouds around until we clear those sprinkles tomorrow morning and those clouds tomorrow morning. But there will be spots in central Massachusetts that could potentially see more clear conditions than right along the coast. But if you miss out on that, Saturday is actually going to be even better, a better chance to see the lights. And we're going to have more clear skies that are coming our way by Saturday into Sunday. So by Sunday, we're starting to see this all calm, but a big solar flare came out of the sun yesterday. That's what we're waiting to see if it's going to make its way into the atmosphere and potentially bring us a pretty nice light show. If it does make it into the atmosphere properly, we're going to see a great light show here in New England. So overnight tonight, as far as those clouds go, seeing about a 100% chance of cloud coverage through tomorrow morning, especially right along the coast. It's areas like Worcester that could potentially have some clearing happening closer to 3 o'clock in the morning. But once we get into Sunday, that's when we're really going to be seeing clear skies early Sunday morning, midnight to 3 o'clock in the morning. Best time to get out and view that if you do want to do so. So overnight tonight, temperatures 57 for Boston, 55 for Natick, 54 in Norwood. It's going to be a cool night, just like what we saw last night, uh, but not all that cold. If you are spending time outside, you'll want to bring the sweater with you. Mainly dry heading through our Saturday. The rain mainly staying off to the north, but we're going to have clouds that are around for most of our Saturday and into Sunday. So high pressure comes in behind that cold front, and then we have a bigger cold front that's heading our way by Monday, bringing us rain chances that are going to drop off those temperatures, upper 50s and low 60s as we go through Wednesday and Thursday. So if you're heading to the fair, it is going to be very nice. Tomorrow, 72. Sunday, 65. So yes, cooler to air is coming in Sunday, but even cooler air will be coming our way as we go into Wednesday and into Thursday. Look at this. Low temperatures, 43 degrees for Thursday morning. So that 43, that's going to mean the suburbs could potentially see some upper 30s in spots potentially it's still pretty far out where we're watching the school down closely as high temperatures are only going to be rebounding into the upper 50s for the middle of the week.